The reason why Hashem destroyed the Bet HaMikdash was because we lost the ability as a Jewish nation to forgive each other and to love each other unconditionally. It's not that Hashem took it away as a punishment. We lowered ourselves as a nation, hating each other for no reason, not looking at each and every single person around you and to love them unconditionally. This is a very important message because coming into Tisha B'Av, we have the ability to change our world. Hashem loves us. Anyone who tells you that Judaism is composed of fear is lying to you. Hashem says in the next seven half hour coming up at Shabbat, how much He loves us, how many prophecies there are of Hashem giving us another chance. Hostages can come home. You can have a personal Bet HaMikdash come back in your life. Shiduch can work out. Business can work out. Relationship with the people around you can work out. Person has to find the ability in their heart to forgive. Maram Sechet Gitin, page 55b says, Bi Yochanan writes that when a person has a stubborn heart, it's exactly what brings him to do evil in this world. Person has to be able to forgive and to love each other unconditionally. The moment that we remove the heaviness from ourselves, we are allowing ourselves to acquire more ruchniyut, more spirituality, and more kedusha, more holiness. Blessing to everybody going into this year's Tisha B'Av to let go, surrender yourself to Hashem, to love each and every single Jew unconditionally. We'll see that when you let go, you elevate yourself spiritually, we'll inherit, redeem our own personal Bet HaMikdash as a Jewish nation. That is when collectively we'll be able to bring the Bet HaMikdash, bring Mashiach, and all the suffering in the world.